Hello everyone, Kelly here, and today is day 14 of the art challenges for October, and mine is Square Tober. I take a 4 by 4 inch square of watercolor paper, put a piece of art on it, and upload the video every day in October. How are you doing? Are you doing well? I hope so. I hope your art challenges are going well. I feel like mine is going pretty well most of the time. I do have some days where it's just harder to get the ideas flowing. Probably if I had planned this ahead of time and figured out what I was going to do every day of the month, it would be easier. But as you guys may know, um, I didn't decide until October 1st that I was going to do this. So I'm flying by the seat of my pants a little bit, you know. You know, the whole idea of an art challenge is to stretch you a little bit, and I don't want to keep doing the same things over and over again, just because I'm doing it in a four by four inch square. So today I learned how to construct a five point star. And without a, without a protractor, just um, my compass, a straight edge and a pencil. I'll put a link in the description to the video that showed me how to do it. I think he's a high school teacher and I think he probably uploaded the videos for his classes and I'm really glad. It's a great resource and I'm glad that he uploaded to YouTube because it's very useful and it's very straightforward and easy to understand. Guess what I did? I bought a new chair for my studio, but it's not your average chair. It's a saddle stool. Here's what it looks like. It literally looks like a saddle on a stool. And why would I buy such a thing? Well, I have hip issues. I don't know if it's because I've sat in an office for so many years, but my hips click. And I already had one hip replacement. I don't want another one. So um, I did a little research and came across a website that tells you you should sit in a saddle. So, I don't know, I have a weak mind and more importantly, weak hip joints. So I got it. And I'm sitting on it right now and <laughs> it takes some getting used to. It is a very strange seating experience. Now, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the way I felt sitting on the horse in my drawing class. It's more, it's got more cush to it, obviously. Um, and it's going to take some getting used to. Uh, so I sit on it for a while. I get up and walk around. And I sit in my other chair for a little while. And then I sit back on the saddle. It's going to take a little while. I think it's just a very... Um, it's not like your average seat. But interestingly, I had to take my husband for a colonoscopy. And we were, we were, you know, in the facility where that was happening. And... Um, you know how in doctor's offices they have those mobile carts almost with their computer on it and the screen and everything? Well, they also had one of these saddle stools that the nurse sat in while she took our information. So, I don't know. The hospitals are using it. Must There must be something to it. I also recently got a health writer back about... It, almost exactly 26 years ago, I got one. They were the big thing at the time, and they do really give you a great workout, and they don't hurt your joints. That was the big thing. So, um, yeah, we have a lot of arthritis and stuff in our family, so that joint issues have always been a problem. And um, But anyway... I got pregnant almost immediately after I got the thing, like three months after I got it. And um, it went, it got put aside and eventually discarded. And they don't sell them anymore. I mean, they, I, I, they have different kinds, but they're not. This thing was built so well. So anyway, I just went on uh, Facebook and Facebook Marketplace and I found one. Um, and I've been using it, but I still, you know, 
I still want to sit in a good seat. Something ergonomic. Anyway, that's the most exciting thing that's happened to me in the last couple of days. Um, feel free to share if anything exciting has happened to you. Well, right, this is an art channel, so I guess I should talk about my drawing. Um, I'm trying to learn to really create more form. Um, I'm doing it on more geometric objects rather than something complex um, that has a lot of varied surfaces. Um, I think it'll be easier to learn how shadows are cast just using simple objects. Now ordinarily you would do that, you would set up like a, um, a still life and work on it. I think that's probably the main reason why people do still lifes. I'm, I don't think anyone loves lemons and grapes that much, but they're useful for learning form and shadow and highlight. Um, but this is a four by four inch drawing for this challenge. So um, what I'm going to do with all these drawings that I've done during the challenge is go back and figure out um, which projects I found really exciting and which ones I want to explore in a bigger format, you know, like big format even. Um, so I think besides just becoming more fluent uh, in producing YouTube videos, I am also still working on some artistic skills. You know, it's not just about the videos, even though that's really what it started out to be. And yeah, I'm starting to think maybe it would have been good for me to pick up one of those. Um, and maybe I will, maybe for the second half of Squaretober, I'll pick up some of the prompts from the various art challenges this year. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. It's hard to come up with a new idea every day without any prompts, without being repetitive. And um, because I'm also doing a video, I don't want to do something well, but I have been. I've been doing stuff that takes longer because I'm experimenting. But I don't know. I, it's all good, right? It's all good. I really enjoy sharing my experiences with this challenge here on YouTube because I've never done a challenge like this one. You know, it's very unique for me. And um, uh, it's becoming more fluid, so I'm going to have to get a little more experimental in the maybe in the next week or so, come up with some new ideas um, for videos because that's kind of that was actually what this challenge was about. But um, let's see, it's almost 9.15 on a Friday night, and my husband is feeling a little bit like an art widow, widower, you know, like the football widows. Anyway, it was his idea for me to do this, so I feel like I owe him some time. So I'm going to cut this off, let you guys go. I hope that you're having a wonderful time with your art challenges and that you're learning a lot and getting a lot out of them. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night in the next video, okay? Bye.